how-to video for how to uh, operate a Bunsen burner. Very simple but very necessary piece of equipment. So this is a Bunsen burner. It has a barrel, a gas inlet, some have an additional control valve on the bottom, some don't. So you have to watch out. Uh, you have to be aware of what type of Bunsen burner you're using. Most also have a means of controlling airflow that mixes with the gas and the barrel will either loosen as so or it will have side vents that you can open up. Now the basic operation of a Bunsen burner works this way. You've got a gas line and with a very heavy wall plastic hose connects to the Bunsen burner through the gas inlet. These gas lines are open only when the handle is aligned with the gas outlet. Now in order to stop or start using a Bunsen burner, what you normally do is you make sure of the settings. First of all, uh, the Bunsen burner valve, if it has one, should be closed. If it isn't, if it is, open it just slightly. To light the Bunsen burner, you're going to use a striker. This is a flint and steel uh, apparatus or a little piece of equipment that welders use to light flames on their uh, welding equipment torches. All right, so how this works, open the gas line and you should hear the gas flowing. Take the Bunsen, take the flint striker and light the Bunsen burner. Now at present this flame is way too big to be useful and we can adjust the height of the flame in one of several, in one of two ways. One is to use this little control valve on the bottom and reduce the amount of gas that flows through the Bunsen burner. The other way is to adjust it at the main source. You can do it either way. It will work. Now right off the bat, your barrel or your vents should be closed. So what you're observing right now is a cool flame. It's not a very hot flame. It's not burning very efficiently. If you see little flashes of yellow in this video, that's because we have inefficient combustion of the natural gas coming in. If I want to adjust the airflow to this flame and make it a hotter flame, I simply allow more air to come in by loosening, in this case, this barrel or opening the vents on a Bunsen burner. This needs to be done carefully so you don't want to unscrew the barrel completely. Now what I have, and hopefully you'll be able to see this, is a bright inner cone to my flame. The bright inner cone is the hottest part of this flame. That's the part we use to strongly heat things. Or if we're doing a flame test or flame emission test, that this is the type of flame we need. So that's how to light a Bunsen burner. If you want to turn a Bunsen burner off, you can do so directly at the main source. At any time, if your hose springs a leak, and you see flames start to come out, immediately stop the flow of gas.